Hello and welcome back. My name's Jeff and today we are playing Tim Tim. Tim Tim is apparently a game quite like Pokemon, so since I'm dumb, I'm going to do a Nuzlocke challenge, even though I've only ever beat one actual Nuzlocke challenge, so that should be interesting. I'll be back in a moment and we will have our character set up. And there we have it, the only hero who can possibly stand up to the vicious world of Tim Tim, Chad Chasington himself. Chad Chasington? Chad Chasington, still asleep. Come on, wakey wakey. Uh, yeah. All right, I, I know what's up. Morning. Okay, cool. I, I have done Pokemon intros before. Oh, nice. My Pokedex. Sweet, great, awesome, beautiful. Basically, she says the same thing. It's you, you woke up late and it's time for you to go get your Pokemon from the professor. The world actually looks really, really nice, though. And all the towns have very foreign sounding names that some of them are hard to pronounce and i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing them right so if i'm wrong then uh please let me know in the comments happy apprentice's eve chad chasington oh my all of zadar is here congratulations we know this is a big day for you but we're also going to miss you we got you a little pocket money for the trip to the academia it's not much but we've all chipped in oh that's lovely thank you so much my dear neighbors but chad chasington where's your friend max Someone calling? Oh, hey, Chad Chasington. Did you know it's my Apprentice's Eve, too? I mean, apparently, like, I feel like that's something we obviously would have known. And, like, the whole town shows up for my Apprentice's Eve, but then I guess no one really showed up for Max. He just kind of went off by himself. That's sad. But Max is also annoying, so, you know, whatever. Ah, uh, Professor Oak. Very well, kids. As you know, this is your Apprentice's Eve, meaning you have already learned all the basic theory about Tim Tim. Now you're ready to handle your first Tim Tim. See those glass jars? That is not a jar. That is a terrarium or, like, a pen or something like that. It's not a jar. Hey, Teach, do you have any digital? Digital is very recent, my young friend. They are very seldom found. Ha! I have one. Where'd you get that? It doesn't matter, Chad Chasington. From the fanciest to the humblest of Tim Tim, it is the tamer that makes all the difference. And since Max already has a Tim Tim, let's get you one too. Take your pick. Well, why does Chad Chasington get to choose and I don't? Quiet, please. I mean, he has a solid point. Like, just because he went out and found his own... I'm, I'm going to go with this guy. Just because he's floating and he looks super dope. Hoochick? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm quite sure that I want Hoochick. He looks super awesome and I love it. Tornado. A little too cool of a name for a Nuzlocke. But he reminds me a lot of the uh, telekinetic girl from One Punch Man. Yo, what's up? I'm sure going to miss Professor Elm. He has the best Tim Tim reference library outside of Properton College. I guess I'll have to move to Arbury to continue my studies. So he straight up had a lab assistant and he's just like leaving without her. Not Chad Chasington, the teacher's pet. You think you're better than me, don't you? And now you have your brand new Tim Tim, huh? Let's see what you can do with it. He does have some very legitimate reasons to be upset because he did kind of get screwed out of a Tim Tim. And by the way, this battle does not count for the Nuzlocke because without cheating, there is no way to beat this dude. Like, this is absolutely a battle you are meant to lose. So, see, I did a small chunk of damage and then boom, one shot. So yeah, that does not count any way shape or form you won max that digital tim tim of yours really gave you an edge it's all about the tamer not the tim tim didn't you say that a minute ago teach and then professor birch has nothing to say to that like really i mean he got you he got you there and now i'm actually getting a second tim tim and max still has not gotten a single tim tim Raphael, after the parrot that george lopez plays in rico you already have your digital Tim Tim Max. Yeah, but he had to go get that himself. Like, he didn't get it for his work as an apprentice. Yeah, no, that's not fair. Like, Max was super, super screwed over. All right, so now we are going north to Academia, and we have to meet him in Bricol de Mer. So, yeah. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. All right, what's up? What are, what are you going to bother me with? The pristine coast is dangerous. Remember to use a balm if you are in trouble. This is not an easy tour. That is correct. You cannot spend time messing around because 
you have a limited number of heals and the routes are actually pretty long and they have a lot of trainers who want to fight you all right i don't care about your backstory pepe pepe the pew i'm just gonna whoop your butt and he's got bird face and pig face okay let's kick pig face in the face and let's also peck pig face in the face and we should be able to drop him pretty rely well with one shot next round and then i should be able to use my special ability psi wave on this dude and hopefully that will take them both out i do not remember type matchups at all in this game for, for whatever reason like it's just not intuitive to me the same way that Pokemon types are. So I I will constantly forget what does two times damage to what. And Pig Epic is still alive. What were you doing, Raphael? I, I actually wasn't paying attention. What was he doing? Just, I don't know. Whatever he was doing, it wasn't useful. Okay, that actually went very well as a, as a first battle. You beat me. Solaro, take me. You're pretty good for a kid, Chad Chasington. I know I am. I'm Chad. I probably... Uh, I I didn't want to waste heals for this. Don't bother the students, Oran. They're probably on their way to the academia. You're going to make them late for class. Consider this a practical lesson, then. There will be times you'll be fighting two tamers at the same time. Or fighting alongside a friend, like we always do. Let's see how you... How you fight -o? What? I'm... I'm I'm assuming that's some that that means something in a different language, but I'm too uncultured to know what it means. Okay, so they got two dog faces. Let's beat up on the weaker one. And the reason I'm not using Raphael's other ability is because when I tried this last time, which oh yeah, so I don't know if I explained. Um, I have, I I did try this once before, and I made it to the second city. But then I realized my audio was corrupted, and so now here I am starting over from the beginning. Which is all... Which honestly kind of works out for the best, because <laughs> in in my first playthrough, I did actually lose my starter. And I was super screwed. Oh, cool. My, uh, my tornado does extra damage to dog bases. Ooh, shrill voice. That is a very good ability. I'm happy to have that. Don't don't hold back. Come at us. Yeah, I already did. That's why I beat you. Alright, I'm gonna throw down a heal on Tornado, and Raphael should be good for now. Ooh, piece of candy. One revive, which is I mean, I can sell it, I guess. Oh, that thing is cool. I like that. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Oh, this is actually my first wild encounter on the route, so. Since most of these are double battles, I'm going with I can choose one of these to catch, but I cannot catch both. And I think it's pretty clear that I should capture the uh, Kaku because he kind of looks like an Oddish. And that makes me think he's stronger than this thing because that kind of looks like a Caterpie. So, ooh, and he's got Toxic Spores, which again gives me very heavy Oddish vibes. Uh, no, I'm actually going to use Hypnosis on him. And so Hypnosis is going to use all of Tornado's energy, which is actually going to hurt Tornado a bit. Which is not fantastic, but I, I need to capture this guy. Did it work? He wasn't affected. Caffeinated? Okay, I guess he has an ability that makes him immune to sleep. I'm going to have you rest so you don't hurt yourself. And then I'm going to have you throw down a peck. Okay, and with that, I should... Oof. With that, I should be able to capture him. Okay, here it goes. Come on, come on. And... Got him. Oh, it's like a little floppy disk. I, I did not pay attention last time. I'm going with Slippy because his face reminds me of Star Fox. You know, Slippy from Star Fox, obviously. And I'm actually going to... Oof. Okay, I was hoping to throw down some heals, but I immediately ran into another battle. But it's fine. It's just one of them. This should go pretty quickly. Kick him. Windblade him. 
I'm not 100% sure, but I think Windblade does work pretty well on this guy. At least it... It wasn't super effective, but at least it wasn't like half damage or anything. Alright, good night, son. Okay, great. Love it. Okay, I am going to throw down some heals because I am not risking losing anyone at this point. I'm not going to waste a heal on Slippy because I can't effectively use him until until I can like buff him up some levels and have him get trained by my other peoples. Vital Apple restores 25% hit points. All right, what you got? Expert Climber. So this novice here pesters me to teach him how to climb. We come all the way out here and now he's left his gear back at home. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at this rock face here. I'd climb that in no time if we had the proper gear. This is what I get for giving noobs a chance. As an expert, I feel like it's really his fault for not remembering the gear. Like, you shouldn't expect someone who's new to the hobby to know what all to bring. Okay, I guess I guess I can actually go back to Aerosola and grab his gear for him and do him a solid. But still, like, that feels very much like the expert's fault. I'm Sarah, and I'm Lara. And together, we are the Lethal Twins. That's right, Lara. I'm Sarah. That's what I said. No, you, I mean, I... Anyway, prepare for battle, stranger. Uh, Sarah? Who, me? No, he looked at me. Why you? Well, if it was me, then no, you're mistaken. I'm, no, what he meant is, am I Sarah? No, Lara, he said Lara. Oh. Okay. I, I gotta say, that's, that's more entertaining than any of the dialogue I've seen in a Pokemon game. But it's not gonna stop me from stomping their faces in. Let's go ahead and Windblade this dude. Yeah, I cannot remember who Windblade works on. It does not work on a- Ooh. It did decent damage to him though. Again, not special effective though. Which is weird because they kind of look planty. And he looks birdy. So, I feel like that maths out. But it doesn't so far. Let's go ahead and side wave him. Ooh, shrill voice. This is an excellent time to show that off. Uh... So, Shrill Voice is just a really powerful normal attack, and it hits both of them. And, yeah, I I absolutely dig it. Ooh, and I gained a level. So, another neat thing is that you actually gain levels mid-battle. So, Peck is a high-priority move, so it'll typically hit before anything else. And, I think we got this pretty well in the bag. I think this is their last Tim Tim. Can go ahead and hit him with this Psy Wave and a Peck. And good night. Psy Wave seems to work on a lot of these Tim Tim. Maybe they're like all the same type. Cover me, Sarah. I got your back, Lara. Wait, no, wait. See, like, <laughs> no way. How did you do it? We need a new strategy, Let Sarah. I, I find it hilarious that they can't remember who is who even between themselves. Honestly, I, I, I really appreciate that. That's the kind of stupid thing I love. Do you have another bomb, Sal? Here you are, but next time bring your own. I keep telling you, Fede. I know, I know. Always carry plenty of bomb when you go hunting. I just forgot, okay? Hey, you there. Come fight us. I actually got through that without using very much bomb at all because... You yeah, know, it is it is very normal to uh, to run out of healing supplies. All right, I'm going to kick Calamari, and I'm also going to Windpeck him, I guess, or Windblade, whatever. It says it right there, so y'all know when I'm being dumb. All right, go ahead and stare at me. I know, I'm attractive. It's worthwhile. <gasps> don't, don't take me seriously. <gasps> I, I am not that arrogant. I, I probably promise. Okay, Psywave. Wave. That should bring them both down to where Shrill... Yep, Shrill Voice dropped them both. Beautiful. I need to use heals on Raphael. Ooh, and another level. This is going great. Bring it on. Throw me a bomb, Sal. Bah, get your own. A, a bomb doesn't wake them back up anyways. We were so close. We weren't... Yeah, no, you weren't close at all, dude. Like, I just wiped the floor with you. All right. 
Oh, wait. I should not have wasted that because... Hey, look at what this is. This is a healing center. Ain't that neat? Yeah, I'm really glad I just wasted my, uh... My balm. Hi, Chad Chasington. It sure took you a while to make it here, eh? Just kidding. How are you doing? How do you know my name? I work at the Temporium in Bacal de Mer, and I'm a friend of the professor. He had to hurry ahead to town, but asked me to check in on you kids. Okay, cool. Gotta go. Bye. What do you got for me? Oh, you buy and sell things. Neat. And they're actually, like, pretty affordable. Wow, balms are not affordable. They are pricey, but they are worth it. Yeah, I'll buy three of those, and then a couple Tim Tim cards. I probably won't need a ton, but I don't want to miss a catch. Oh, and this is a repel. Okay. Well, let's... Let's actually... Let's actually switch Slippy over to start. And that way we can have my dude train him up a bit. Tire Tamer. Wow, I'm beat. Let's sit here in the grass for a second. Did you come all the way from Zadar? You must be pretty exhausted too. Nah, I'm fine. You might be, but think of your Tim Tim and all the fighting they're doing. You must watch your Tim Tim stamina. If it gets too low, they might injure themselves. And what kind of Tim Tim trainer would you be if you didn't take good care of them? So keep an eye on their stamina. And now I'll show you how to lose some stamina. Well, I mean, yeah, why would I be tired? My Tim Tim are doing all the work. I ain't gotta do anything. This is great. <laughs> okay. So, ooh, actually this is not super fantabulous. I think I'm gonna switch him out. I, I don't want to risk him getting one shot. Yeah, I might... Ooh. Okay, that's... That's a little bit dangerous. Ow. Alright, let's throw down a Psy Wave on... Let's hit you with it, and a Shrill Voice on the both of you. I can't imagine this will drop them both, but it might drop the Kaku. Alright, cool. One down. Hopefully he does not have any more because I'm not feeling this fight right now. Oh, sweet. And it does work like Pokemon where as long as he's in for a second, he gets uh, he gets XP for it. And he does have more. Awesome. Let's go ahead and throw down a Balm. I'm not, I'm not risking my starter. And let's go ahead and peck Scale. Ah, he's still standing. Just barely though. I'm really glad I healed Tornado. Otherwise, I think that would have dropped him. Okay. Psy Wave, Genki, and Peck Scale. So with Scale going down instantly, there's no chance he'll hit Tornado and do any damage to him. And then I think Psy Wave will insta... Nope, doesn't insta, but he's only level 3, so... There is not a huge risk of losing Tornado there. Okay, I'm actually going to... Kick Ganki, and I'm going to bring Slippy back in in Raphael's place to get some more XP. Beautiful. Another win under the belt. Let's tempt him up. Oh, okay. Is that like your catchphrase, dude? You see how important it is to conserve stamina? You wouldn't have beaten me otherwise. Smart. Okay, cool. So, I'm actually going to put in a time cut here, and I'm going to go back into that first area and do some training. And that way, Slippy is not such a liability, and I don't have to worry about him nonstop like I did just there. Okay, I'm back. And Slippy is now at a respectable level 7. Raphael is at level 8. Tornado is at level 9. This area, unfortunately, does not count as a new route. It is still part of the uh, Prisane Coast or whatever. So, I cannot capture a new Tim Tim here. Sad panda. But we will push forward regardless because this is the only direction to go. And I found out something fun while I was grinding. Apparently, basically every Kaku has immunity to poison except for the one I captured. Because I have not been able to use my Kaku to hurt any of these guys. Oh, I should probably pick a move for him. So yeah, um, my, my uh, Slippy, he's still... Uh, he still doesn't have any move besides Toxic Spores, which I'm hoping he gets a new move soon. And unfortunately, I actually have to run back and heal.